Hey guys, JP here from Trails and Details, and I'm making a quick little video, and it's something I've been wanting to make for a while now, and uh, it's a question that uh, gets asked a lot in the mountain biking community, and that is, can you mountain bike on a tight budget? Now, when I mean tight budget, I don't mean $1,500 to $2,000. Sure, maybe in the uh, category of full suspension carbon mountain bikes, that might be a bargain, but generally $1,500 to $2,000 to me is a lot of money, and to many people as well, and hell, even a thousand dollars or eight hundred bucks for a hardtail is still, to many people, a pretty large sum of money for what is, to most people, just a, more of a hobby. Now, I'm talking about 150 to 200 bucks. Can you actually have fun with mountain biking with that amount of money? And the short answer is absolutely. Now, what I have behind me is a giant rock Alex that I restored myself. I bought this for 40 bucks and it needed around 110 bucks in parts. So in total, this bike owes me, of course, a couple hours of labor that I did myself and about 110 bucks in parts and 40 for the bike itself. So 150 bucks. And I've been having an absolute blast on that bike. Mind you, my main bike is a $3,000 Canyon Torque 5 aluminum. So even with that bike, even with that crazy technology, dropper seat, full suspension, crazy shocks in the front, I can still have a blast on a $150 bike. Now, of course, if you buy this already new, or a new, I mean restored, or still solid, you don't have to do any work, it's gonna be 200 bucks. But still, 200 bucks, you can absolutely do some really cool cross-country stuff, as I'm doing right now. Sure, it's not made for sending crazy jumps and crazy tricks, but you can definitely have some fun with it. I mean, it's a solid bike, it's got plenty of like gears, it has good front shocks. I mean, sure, the technology that's on that bike is a little, inferior nowadays it's got brake pads so no disc brakes it has front shocks but they don't have a lot of travel it doesn't have a threadless stem and on and on and on but do we really need that for a simple cross country when we're talking about beginner bikes and not not really i mean i started on an 80 dollar fully rigid mountain bike and even with that bike with it shaking around and rattling my bones i still had a blast because i was mountain biking i was doing what I love. So the reason I'm making this video is because if you look on YouTube and you look up mountain biking, there's like a lot of popular YouTube channels that focus their channels around very expensive bikes. And hey, I don't blame them. If they have a large following, companies reach out to them and they have an opportunity to test some amazing bikes, you know, $10,000, $15,000 carbon bikes. I don't blame them. They're, they're, that's, that's their privilege and they've probably worked hard to build up that following. Perfectly fine. But to some people, like maybe you and me, who don't have a lot of money to spend on mountain biking because we're not lawyers or doctors, it might seem a little demotivating. But guys, please don't get demotivated. You can have fun absolutely on a very tight budget, like I'm having right now with that bike in the background. Absolutely. And this is really the reason I'm making that video. I don't want you guys to get demotivated by the fancy videos on YouTube. And I don't want you guys to miss out on what could potentially be a great sport and a great hobby. I mean, not to get all sentimental with you guys, but mountain biking definitely helped me through some rough times where I had trouble with work and my life was kind of, you know, very insecure. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what was going to happen the next day. It was kind of a day by day basis. And mountain biking was always there for me when I had a long day. I came home and I could just get on the bike and ride a trail and just not think about all of the stuff that was going on in my life and just ride. And guys, even with that cheap bike, again, I'll stress it again, you can have tons of fun. You can ride trails. You can go places where you would never thought you would go with maybe by car or by walking. You know, it takes you places that are just absolutely amazing. And of course, it's really good exercise. And good exercise is also very good for your mental health. So once again, guys, don't get demotivated by YouTube videos. Find yourself a cheap bike that, yes, maybe has some inferior technology, but let's be real here. Disc brakes, crazy ass suspension and carbon fiber were not around when mountain bike kind of began. Do you really think people just never shredded trails on technology like this? Of course they did. Absolutely. And it's definitely possible. Once again, guys, find yourself a cheap bike. You can have tons of fun with it. Hope you enjoyed the clips I tried to show you uh, during this video. I'm uh, trying to get a GoPro so I can get some more footage on this bike and really show you guys what it's like to ride this bike. But for now, get out there, get yourself a cheap bike and have some fun, guys. And thanks, guys, for watching. This is JP from Trails and Details. I'll talk to you soon.